Most of us remember being afraid of something like monsters under the bed when we were children. Those kinds of fears can usually be handled with a hug and some reassurance. But in an emergency, a child's emotional needs may be much greater. So what can you do? First, it's important that you appear to be in control of the situation. How you react in an emergency gives them clues as to how to react. Next, listen and be willing to explain the situation over and over again. Children often need more time to process what has happened. Finally, let them know that feeling fear is okay and then reassure them that they are safe. Most children will bounce back to normal in a very short time, but if these suggestions don't seem to be working, make sure you talk to your pediatrician or a mental health professional. Now, if you'd like more information, be sure and visit the webpage. And remember, it's what you do or don't do every day. That's what affects your health more than anything else. With your Healthy Action Minute, I'm Josh Claypoe.